Now the chief priests and the whole council sought false witnesses against Jesus, that they might put him to death. And they found it not, though many false witnesses came. We all need to use our imaginations on this one. It's an election year, so we know how the world works. Rarely do we see people debate in an upfront manner. You express your worldview and I'll express mine and we'll see who wins. Those who defend truth certainly are comfortable in that arena. Those who know that their philosophy and theology is flawed know that it cannot withstand the light of truth. So they rely on lies. This supposed priest of God violate the ninth commandment to achieve their ends. This is an example to us today. We are not pragmatists. The ends do not justify the means. And those who believe it does and are willing to employ evil means most often have evil ends in mind as well. As Christians, we do what is right in all situations. We defend the truth in all situations and then leave the results to God. But afterward came two and said, this man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. Now, this is certainly the most effective type of lie. I know the technique has been used against me. They speak a half truth taken out of context, misunderstood, and say it to another group, which will become incensed by their interpretation of what is said because they too don't get the deeper meaning. I do love the foreshadowing of it though. As we will see, Jesus offers no defense against his accusers. But as we will also see, they are making his case for him. Jesus rarely announced that he was the son of God because words have little weight. Instead, the greatest testimony of who he is would occur a few days from his trial. For what I mean, jump back to John 2, verse 18, when Jesus was posing a threat to the religion business by driving out those who turned the temple into a market. The Jews then responded to him, What sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It's taken 46 years to build this temple and you're going to raise it in three days. But the temple he had spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken.